Hi, welcome to my very first Halloween special. Today I'm going to show you how to make a giant python snake cake. If you can make a bun cake, you can make this cake. It'll be the focus of your Halloween treats table. I'm Mar Marie Cristiani, the Aerialist Chef. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make the head of the snake and the tail. And for that, I'm using Rice Krispie Treats. But I need to speed things along with my witchcraft. Mortimer's Crispiness. There we go. Now we'll set this aside and let it cool down. Okay, we're gonna start with our cakes. Now I've made three Bundt cakes. Any flavor, you can use box cake. It's totally up to you, your favorite cake mix. And I have a 48 by a uh, 16 inch pretty heavy piece of plywood because it gets quite heavy and this is going to be a four foot snake now if you want to do a six foot which is what i usually do at halloween i'll give you the instructions down below okay so let's get started putting our cake in place now i'm going to put this one about here this is going to be the head of the snake and you see these are cut in half and I'll talk about that one in a minute. Let me get these finished. These are your halves. You're putting them, this is the body of the snake. All right. So that was, this is two cakes cut in half and there's our body. And then I take that other piece of cake and I'm gonna go ahead and cut a smaller piece off of it. This becomes the head of the cake. It's gonna reach for the Rice Krispies. It's kind of a neck. And then this is gonna be connected to the tail. Now, if your cake isn't quite sitting up next to it, I'm gonna stick a little bit of extra of the Rice Krispies underneath just to give it a little bit of uh, stability so that they'll all be nice and flush. And then I'll show you how I start decorating this cake. To shape the head, I take Rice Krispie treats and I make it into a bit of a log. It's roughly nine inches long. Uh, your, the head of the snake is gonna be about five and a half inches long and then the little piece of neck which will connect onto the cake. So I start shaping it and you can use the end of the cake as your guide. Now I might shave the cake a little bit so that it's flush with the neck. So I form the neck and this part of his neck and then you want to make it triangular. That's what the snake head will look like. So let me flatten it out a little bit and I'll bring the front of it to a little bit of a point and you'll see he's gonna have nostrils but we'll use the frosting to create that kind of thing and I'll take little pieces of Rice Krispies and I'll build up like little kind of eyebrows but not that they have eyebrows but that'll give you room to take your finger and make an indent and that's where your eyes are gonna be so that's looking pretty good now it'll take better shape once you get it on the cake all right, I'm happy with the way that looks. I'll leave that. I'll mess with that more later, and I'm gonna set that to the side. Now, I did use a baking spray on the sill pad, or you can use parchment paper, foil, anything that you have in the house. Otherwise, your Rice Krispies will st stick. And I even take and spray my hands before I touch the Rice Krispies, and you see I can pick it up and I don't have any sticking. All right, there's that. And then, of course, we need that big old tail. And the tail's going to go this direction. So it's going to hook onto the cake on this side. And then it's going to, and you can make it however you want, however long. But you know, a snake's tail, a uh, part of it goes from thick and then it goes very thin toward the end. So that's what you want your cake uh, tail to look like. That's it. And like I said, once we get it onto the cake board, I'll take a knife and I'll trim down that little bit of cake um, so that it's kind of even and you won't see the break between the Rice Krispies. I'm happy with that. And then I want to show you what I did for the eyes and for the tongue. I like the fruit roll-ups. 
in whatever red flavor, right? And I leave the sticky part, and I literally use just uh, a pair of scissors, and I cut out uh, the, the tongue. Make sure you have your little fork tongue there, and then when you're ready, you'll peel this off, and we'll stick it onto the mouth. We'll do that the very last thing. And they sell these uh, packages of eyeballs in all kinds of different stores, and they're perfect. What I've done is I've taken a little bit of vodka, like a few drops, and mix it with some gold luster dust. You can find these at, at Michael's, Joann's, even Walmart. And I paint it onto these eyeballs that I bought, and that's gonna be my snake's eyes. They're gonna be gold eyeballs. All right, I'm gonna show you how I put it onto the cake board. All right, our snake is starting to take shape. I've added the head and the neck, and you see this gap here, so I'll take some of the Rice Krispie treats, and I'm gonna form the neck so that it joins up with the cake and it looks a little bit better. If I have to, I can take a knife and I can just shave away a little bit of the cake just so that there's not a huge gap there. I'm happy with the way that looks. And remember, you're gonna put frosting on it. So a lot of those little imperfections, you won't see. You want them as close as possible and then don't worry about it. I come to the tail section and you see there's quite a big gap here. So I'll take more Rice Krispie treats and I'm gonna add it so that I can fill in this gap and make it taper down. And again, if I have to, I'll just trim a little bit of cake away and that'll take away any of those rough joints there. That actually looks pretty good, I think. All right, now we're ready to start frosting it and I'll show you how I've got Green, I'm doing a green and yellow python. You can do any color common. I've done blues, different colors of blues, hot pink. You can do anything you want. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do it this time. It's time to start decorating the snake. I've put his little eyeballs in place and yellow is gonna be my markings color. So I'm gonna start with the markings first. I wanna make a line where his mouth would be. And all I'm gonna do is just make little squeezy this is an open star tip. You can find these easily at any place that has cake supplies from Walmart to um, Michael's. And I'll do this side of the cake and the top and then I'll turn the board around and do the other side just to make it easier for me.
Our scary python cake is done. I hope you like it. I think it looks great. I added the tongue, as I told you, out of the fruit roll-ups. And I've added a little bit of scary features that help me and the bloody handprint. And all we did was we took red food gel that you can buy anywhere, and we painted our hands and we smeared it on there. And you can have fun with it. Anyway, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. Everything you need to know will be down. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween. But to save time, I'm going to use a little bit of my witchcraft. Here we go. Abacus polka dots. <laughs>